I feel like an iOS developer. Let's talk about that. Hey, what's up? It's Mike Thomas. I finally feel like an iOS developer. You may know that I've been making this transition from front-end development into iOS and my goal for the year was to keep up with front-end development whilst mastering my iOS skills. And I've got to be honest, I've found it next to impossible. I wanted to learn SAS at the beginning of this year, brush up on some of my WordPress templating skills, get into SVG animations. I've had to turn my back on it. The more and more I notice that I'm getting better at Swift and Xcode, the more and more I just want to learn more. And in my spare time, when I'm listening to podcasts and whatnot, I'm choosing the iOS podcasts over the front-end development ones. I am more inspired to really immerse myself in iOS because I'm enjoying that feeling of getting better. Even though I'm taking very small steps, it's a nice feeling because in the beginning it was so frustrating I thought to myself what have I got myself into and so now that I'm enjoying it I feel like I feel like an iOS developer I know I've not got my first app on the App Store yet but it's all about don't worry about that don't worry about the fact that you may not have your first app in the App Store. It's about intrinsic motivation, not extrinsic motivation. Well, you actually need a balance. You have to know what you're aiming for and to have it, your vision of what you're aiming for. You want it to be vivid enough that it inspires you to move towards it but have fun with it have fun with the learning process yes I know it's frustrating at times the aim really is to keep the momentum going so if you've not done anything for a while sit down and take an easy tutorial something that something that you know that you can comfortably work through sit down work through it it's a great way to get the momentum going so anyhow that's where i'm up to right now as i said in the last video my money is on swift a native ios development i've been listening to a lot of podcast casts at the moment Talking about Apple, the stock market and the Apple sales and Apple moving into different technologies, moving into making a car, into virtual reality. And what I get from the conversation is that, yes, they may need to pivot and move into other markets, but Apple isn't going anywhere. The smartphone isn't going anywhere. I think we can pretty much count on that, although nothing is guaranteed. It's not going anywhere, is it? Let's be honest. And so I think there's going to be plenty of work for the foreseeable future. In the last video, I mentioned that Swift is now being used for writing mobile backend applications. There is the perfect framework. The guys behind that are Sean Stevens and Kyle Jessup. They were on that same podcast that I recommended last week. Check it out if you want to learn more. They've been getting plenty of funding. They've been approached by companies in Europe wanting to get involved, wanting to fund the project. So you can use it as a web application backend framework in the same way that Ruby on Rails is being used. Although we're not quite there yet, it could take a while, 
but <laughs> the wheels are turning and we're moving in that direction so who knows well where we'll be in three to five years time so you may be interested to check that out i'll leave a link in the video description so anyhow i hope you got something from that i've much much more to share but we'll leave that for another video i don't want to start rambling on take it easy keep the momentum going hope you got something from this take care of yourself peace